Our next speaker is uh, the scientist in residence at the Summers Mill School, where he is, or sorry, where his students call him, Dr. G. Please welcome George Albuquerque. So uh, John Barry runs uh, the Appropriate Technology Collaborative. It's a nonprofit right here in Ann Arbor. And every year he takes a group of engineering students down to Guatemala, and to um, uh, particularly to specifically to the western region of Guatemala near the city of Chile. And Chile is a beautiful part of the world. They have a wonderful climate. Uh, there are lots of wind, thanks to another program that uh, John runs. They have skill, uh, women and girls skilled in electronics. They don't have much electricity, though. So a few years ago, John asked me if I could help him with his woven wind project. And in this project, women, skilled weavers, will make the windmill blades for an electric generator system. Uh, if you remember, Faraday told us that we need three things to make electricity. We need a conductor preferably a coiled conductor, a magnetic field, and movement. Thomas Edison said we need imagination and a big pile of junk. As the science, scientist in residence at Summers Knoll, my K-8 through eight grade students provide me with plenty of imagination. In Guatemala, there's uh, unrecycled junk. Here's some from Ann Arbor in the back of my van. And my students absolutely love to take things apart. These are microwave ovens. <coughs> microwave ovens are what we're gonna use for this project. Safety first, before I have them, allow them to take anything apart. I break off the prongs for the uh, cord. Electricity can still be stored <coughs> inside in a capacitor, so I reach in with an insulated pair of pliers and short out any capacitors inside. We wanna get out two things. We want the magnetron tubes, which are old vacuum tubes actually, and those, those, pro, those will pro provide our magnets, and we want to get out the transformers. The magnets come out of the magnetron tubes pretty easy. Transformers are a little harder. You pry off the tabs, pull down the front, and pull out the first magnet. And bottom left is the magnetron tube with its cooling fins on it. That's actually a vacuum tube. Pull it out, cut off the heating coils, and get the second magnet. The, when I pull out my angle grinder to cut the welds off of the Transformers is the only time I've ever gotten a spontaneous standing ovation from my students. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need this big equipment. You can use a set of hammers to pull it to pound out the coils when you're done. Remember Faraday said we need coils and we'll have a lot of them. Magnets. And the brake discs get us the motion. And plumbing parts to hold it all together. My students say they absolutely love to take things apart. The only thing better than taking things apart is building something out of them. The only thing better than building something out of them is building something that works. The only thing better than that is building something with a purpose. They want it to be useful. So how do we build something useful? I start by laying it on the back. It's a little bit easier. These are just plumbing parts. I take my disc brake, <coughs> set it on the center post, center post, and align it with magnets. On top of that, we set the coils. In this case, it's 12 magnets, 12 sets of magnets and coils, nine coils. The second brake disc goes on over that, and you can't see it right now, but between there is another set of magnets. This helps you explain, understand it a little bit better. If you looked at it from the side, the brake disc on the top, magnets are facing each other north, south, north, south, and the, light, the smaller lines are the field lines that go from magnet to magnet through the coils. This will generate electricity for LED lighting to replace kerosene lights, kerosene lamps, and cell phones. We think this will easily produce 75 watts, peak watt, peak of 150, which would be enough for a dozen homes. Several, uh, one time when John took students down, they built this kind of a uh, windmill. And this kind of a windmill is, is it's a great first start, excellent work, but it's kind of like an old square rigger in that it only works by drag. The America's Cup wasn't won with that kind of sail, okay? But modern airplanes, modern windmills, and modern sailboats use a wing that has uh, both lift and drag, like this. The women in Guatemala are skilled weavers. 
by shaping the fabric and adding epoxy, we can, they can build whatever shape propeller, whatever shape blade we want, and producing both lift and drag. When they do that, we're going to do something I'm going to call a light wave. This is the audience participation part. When you see the light, raise your hands. <laughs> but to stop, right? <laughs> Thank you.